Hello Coder, Synthetic Programming here with another video for you guys today and today we are going to be building a password generator in batch. So this program is going to generate passwords when the user inputs the number one. So you input the number one and it generates a password. How strong is this password going to be? Well, if you wanted to brute force this password, it would take 3000 years. So pretty strong. Uh, it's going to be 12 characters long and random alphanumeric characters. So let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to save this file to our desktop as password. Uh, we'll call it passwordgen.bat. And I'm just going to save it to all files, just like that. All file types. So now we have passwordgen.bat, and if we click that, you can see nothing happens. So we're going to start writing our code. The first thing to do is at echo off, which we always write at the beginning of our batch files. Then color, we're going to set to 0A because I like that matrix green on black. Then we are going to set the title equal to the password generator. Okay. So uh, after that, we are going to start our first little like uh, almost like function, I guess. Not not really, but like this is our first little section of code. We're going to call it start. OK, and uh, in here, we'll capitalize it in start. Uh, we are going to start by clearing the screen. We are going to echo a line and echo another line. So echo dot echo dot. And then, uh, oh, sorry, we're only going to do one of those. And then after that, we're just going to do some uh, equal signs like that. That'll make it look good. After that, we will echo the phrase, please uh, write the password down. And the reason we're doing that is to warn our user um, that if they do not uh, write the password down, they could very easily forget it because these passwords are not meant to be remembered. They're very complicated. The next thing we're going to do is echo our option, which is going to say echo, and then in square brackets we'll put one to make it look cool. Um, enter one, or sorry, one, uh, sorry, we'll just say random password. Okay, there we go. Uh, now, it doesn't really matter what you write here. This is just your list option. So when you put in one, it'll give you a random password. Uh, after that, we are going to start by, okay, here, we'll just do one more of these echo dot, make a new line, and then now we can start the actual important code. So we're going to set uh, a variable uh, slash p like that, uh, input, and the input equals uh, enter one to generate a password or right, we'll just say password enter one to generate a password like that and then down here we'll say if uh, and then in these little percent signs we're gonna say input uh, equals equals one like that then go to a if not go to start and yeah that should be fine okay cool so uh, there we go we got that and now we can write a so a down here actually start should be capital like that start so we'll say down here um, that we're gonna start writing a and a is going to be like so. We are going to clear the screen. We are going to set local like that. Um, actually, this should be capital. Sorry. Set local. Um, enable delayed expansion. Like that. So enable delayed expansion. Set um, and then this is going to where we're going to start setting our variables R and D length is going to be equal to 12. Uh, this is where we set the length of our password. Our password is going to be 12 characters long and that will make it 
uh, safe unless someone decides to brute force it over the course of 3,000 years, and I'm sure your secrets are not necessarily worth 3,000 years of computing time, I hope. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set a big variable called alphanumeric. So we're going to set uh, underscore alphanumeric, and alphanumeric is going to equal this big thing here that I just pasted. And what is this? Uh, this is pretty much every capital letter uh, and then every lowercase letter and then all the numbers zero through nine, okay? So all the digits. And uh, it's important that you copy this whole thing. Um, this will be the, the characters that we're choosing from to generate this random password. The next thing to do is to set the string, so str, equal to, and then in percent signs, we're going to put alphanumeric, like that, alphanumeric, and then on the other side of alphanumeric, on the outside, put 9876543210, okay? Uh, this is also necessary, and then after this, we are going to put, we're going to run len loop. So, in underscore len loop, Okay, that's our gonna be, this is gonna be where actually the magic is actually happening. Uh, and here we're gonna say if not, okay? So if not, and then in quotes like this, uh, and then in the quotes, put these percent signs, that str, like that, um, and then colon, tilde, or like this little squiggly line, um, 18, Okay, right? And then on the outside of that is going to be equal to, and then another set of quotes like that, set, and then underscore str, oh, str, like that, equal to, and then you're going to do another two percent signs, and in the percent signs you're going to do the underscore str um, and then colon tilde nine okay and then on the other side of this we're going to put the and sign like so and then set like that set we can actually just do it like so set um, no, no, let's give it a space. Set uh, slash capital A len, uh, but it's not len loop, it's just len is going to be plus equal to nine and go to like that and go to uh, with a space, my bad go to len loop just like that okay perfect so now just to recap we've done this whole big uh, set of stuff here and what's pretty much going on is you are this is the main loop where you're pretty much checking the uh, you're checking the string and you're adding a number on adding a number on and just repeating until you get to a position where you want to stop uh, then when you want to do that, set uh, underscore TMP, like that, you're setting like a temporary string, equal to inside of these percent signs, we're going to do underscore STR, right, like we did before, colon tilde nine, uh, and then we're going to do comma one, and then that's that set backslash capital A to uh, we're going to do underscore len like that um, equals to underscore len plus TMP. Uh, sorry, it's underscore TMP just like that. Okay, perfect. That should be all done. And now we are going to set another variable called count uh, equal to zero. 
and we're going to set R and D alpha alpha num like that, which is just random alpha number uh, equal to nothing at all. We're just gonna set it like that, okay? So now we're gonna do the underscore loop code and an underscore loop, we are going to say set backslash lowercase a uh, underscore count, right? Uh, e uh, plus equal, sorry, plus equal one, because we're gonna be iterating that count variable. Now we are going to set uh, underscore R and D, okay? Equal to, and then in percents, we're gonna do random like that, okay? Uh, and then now on the other side of this uh, line down, set backslash, or sorry, regular slash capital A underscore R and D equal to, and then it gets a little bit complicated here, underscore R and D uh, percent sign, uh, percent sign, percent sign, and then underscore len percent sign, just like that, okay? And so what's pretty much going on here is we're writing the code for the main sort of like, so this is the len, the len loop, which helps you find like the length that the loop is actually gonna keep iterating. And then this is like the, the actual main loop that generates the random like characters and adds them to the string. Um, I hope that's what I said before. I might've messed that up though. Uh, but we will see when we run it at the end. So now we're going to set uh, underscore, and this is where it gets a little longer, R uh, and D alpha, alpha num like that, uh, equal to, and then in these nice exclamation points here, underscore R and D alpha num like that with another exclamation point like this, and then underscore alpha numeric uh, colon tilde um, percent sign percent sign, and then in the percent signs, you are putting uh, underscore R and D, uh, and then let's see, did I get that all? Oh yeah, sorry, on the other side, comma, one, exclamation point. There we go. So that should be that. Let me just give that a little run through and see if that looks good. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. So now we get to an if statement where we say if in exclamation points count is, and we can do is with ISS, uh, and then now we will do percent sign percent sign in the percent signs R and D length uh, do I have that length yeah just like that R and D length go to loop like that right so you're pretty much checking and seeing if it's less than the the amount of characters you want in the password and then you're going back to the loop if it's not. Then we're gonna echo a line and then we are going to echo the our usual like I think it'll be easier if I just grab these equal signs bring them back here and just paste them like that there we go I think I guessed that pretty well actually um, and now we tell the user the password where we say echo password is and then here we actually have to print that variable so we're gonna do two uh, exclamation points R and D alpha num which ends up being the actual password and then we say echo make sure to write it down and then we echo a bunch more equal signs to just contain that whole thing. 
then we echo dot and we pause and then last but not least we exit awesome so that should work um, I hope you guys caught up like I like I hope you were caught up the whole time uh, with writing that code I know some of this stuff can get a little hairy uh, this line in particular and this line here uh, but let's see if it worked. We've saved it and now we can run it. So it says, please write the password down, random password. Enter one to generate password. You hit one, you hit enter, and it totally closes out and does not work. Let me just give it a once over and see what is wrong. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. There was a little bit of a hiccup. Um, I just corrected the issue and let's see if it should work if we hit one okay there we go one generates this random password which would take 300 uh, 3000 years sorry to brute force so uh that little fix that i just did is going to be up on the synthetic programming github i'm going to uh put that on there there's a link in the description for that so you guys can get this code itself um and hopefully that code will work on your computer as well i don't actually know what the issue was to begin with. I had written this before as a practice and then I guess somewhere along the line I messed up a character somewhere. So uh, this is the corrected version that will uh, will actually work and will generate the password. You can see it again. You click it, you hit one, you enter, and then it generates a random password that would take years and years to brute force. So like I said, this will be on the synthetic programming github link in the description thank you guys so much for watching please rate comment and subscribe and uh, check out our website syntheticprogramming.com there's a link there to all of the code from all of our videos so uh yeah give that a little look see and uh, i will see you guys in the next one peace guys